Hello and welcome to Naked Chef Gaming, where we are in a new game for us, Stellaris. You've probably seen a bit of it on YouTube or played it yourself, because it is a fantastic game. I've had many, many hours in it already. Um, I thought I might start a new game, and as is my want, I've been trying to get different types of mods for it already. Um, now there's the new patch 1.1 just came out, so a lot of the mods I was playing before are not quite up to date yet so I've just kind of made up my own um, race here and as you can see it is the United Federation of Planets for those of you who are savvy with Star Trek you know exactly who that is um, likes of Enterprise and uh, all that lot so this is what I've made up there was I got a mod that was like really really good had all the different um, Federation uh, aliens in it but it's not quite up to date yet so I just made up my human Federation just now uh, added obviously continental earth as our home home world little uh, emblem here so I made us individual lists which mean a uh, pop modifier energy credits plus 10% slavery minus 50% obviously the Federation do not like slaves xenophile Alliance influence cost minus 50%, maximum uh, embassies plus one, pop modifier xenophobia plus 10%. So we like the aliens, bring on aliens. Uh, materialist um, is just sort of like, you know, the, the Federation, they want to get in their research. So we've got physics, society and engineering output plus 5%. So I've got a little blurb here. I put in after the end of the World War Three on Earth, scientist Zephram Cochrane built Earth's first warp cable vessel, the Phoenix. He launched it in April 5th, 2063. The warp testing of his vessel would gamer garner, see I think it's like an M. Would garner the attention of the Vulcan science ship operating just outside the solar system. Vulcans had not previously considered the solar system uh, of Earth or Earth itself worthy of their attention before this time. However, the science ship lands on Earth and makes first contact with Zephyr Cochrane and the inhabitants of Bozeman, Montana. This contact would be the first time that Earth joins the interstellar community and begins the road towards the foundation of the United Federation of Planets. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got nuclear missiles to start off with. I thought about lasers to start with, but um, I think the I'm going for a sort of like a, a role play cannon. Um, version here so I think nuclear missiles is probably the best place to start with warp travel and there are skins for different ships uh, mods that uh, but there again they're not quite up to date yet you might notice here the actual interface I've got is uh, a Star Trek interface which is pretty cool uh, so let's see how we get on galaxy size we'll start our medium galaxy Elliptical shape, AI, empires, make it 15. Don't advance the ice. Well, we could do, because we're pretty much starting out as uh, new. If you think in Star Trek, there are a couple of um, empires, there's a couple of people who are a bit more advanced, so we'll maybe make it four. That should be fine. Yeah, aggression, normal, difficulty, normal. Um, any FTL drive. Iron Man I don't think I can put on because of the mods but I'll leave it off anyway. So let's just see how we get on. I am by no means an expert on Solaris so if you think of anything I could uh, do differently just let me know. But here we are. United Federation of Planets. Ruler Zephram Cochrane. Indirect democracy so we get a vote every so often. Um, FTL message, oh, we've got all this stuff here, we done through that already. Our traits, we didn't go through, did we? Charismatic, other species happiness, plus 1%. Quick learners, leaders, experience gain, 25%. And we prefer continental parents. In the eons since the first primitive United for <laughs> Primitive, the United for <laughs> Okay, I should have changed that, maybe. Uh, can we took shape in the grassy uh, savannas of Earth? Our civilization had spread and prospered. We were driven forward by steady scientific progress and armed conflicts between nation states became increasingly rare. The framework of a global democracy government was eventually laid and when the last 
holdouts voluntarily joined, we stood united as a single nation. Now, after the successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds in the United Federation of Planets have finished developing of the first warp drive. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Okay, <laughs> this is uh, one of the other mods I've just put on. Uh, let's, yeah, just leave leave me organic. Thank you very much. So there are a, a lot of other mods I put on. So let's see your universe. Pretty big. Not bad. Um, we have got the systems of all the other races from Star Trek somewhere. So I don't know if they've been populated in this universe. We'll have to wait and find out. This is the first time I've used the full interface. It looks pretty cool. It's a lot brighter. Everything stands out a bit more. But I suppose we'll get straight into it. See what our science say. Uh, let's start at the top. Right, let's go through our government. Nothing really f too fancy. All these edicts. I'm not really going to go into them too much. Oh, the sounds as well. Cool. I didn't even notice that. I can hear. <laughs> Sweet. Right, one planet, our leaders, we have got the one governor, R R Reginald Howard, Leonard, Scott, Linwin, all these, there's my scientists here. I've got the Star Trek names on, so there should be randomly generated names that are similar to the Star Trek world. Um, contacts, obviously known so far, ship designer. We have got, I quite like going for the one medium and one small, um, which would kind of make sense for the Star Trek universe as well, whereas I would put a, probably a small laser and a medium torpedo eventually, just to get so that it's quite similar to the, uh, um, the world of Star Trek. I'll need to change those names at some point as well, maybe. Nothing on situation log and technology. Let's start with that. Let's go. So we've got solar panel network, physics lab, or research speed plus five. I want to get this out of the way because the sooner you get this done, the more uh, research you can do, or the faster research gets done. Colony ship, uh, naval capacity, no need for that. Monthly influence, again, no real need for that. So let's go for our colony ship to start with. And last one. Engine facility, it's, oh, these are not, not great ones to start with, are they? Let's start with the... Um, no real need for these two yet, so let's start with the engineering platform. Uh, engineering facility. And let's have a look at our ships. So first off, we'll get our signed ship. And just get him. Leonard Scott, on you go, survey the system. So while he's doing that, I like to do the start of the game on the fast because there's not a lot happening. Um, construction ship we will get building once we find something to build. Our battle group, what I like to do is just quickly, well, we don't, that's our sphere of influence here. We need to go and see um, who's around us. So I just like to go sort of searching about to see if there's any ships not to attack them it's just so that our if our science ship is to go there I like to know that they'll be safe just sort of see who's around again it's just a sort of scouting mission I don't really want to attack anyone just yet so that'll do it's a bit of a nice spirally pattern. As they go away, my three little ships. Goodbye. I love the graphics in this game, and like it's just amazing the way they've built this. Some there are some small um, interface concerns, things like that, but I uh, I still think it's pretty great. One thing though, where's Pluto? Come on, Neptune's here. They've even got like Ceres and all the asteroid Junos, asteroids here, but no Pluto. Surely it's bigger than 
like an asteroid or something. Yeah, maybe not actually. It's got moons. Oh, so we've encountered some form of alien vessel in the Sirius system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. The United Federation of Planets has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Earth following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. They love it. So of course there is an enemy right near us. And it just went away. Oh, so maybe it's an actually another alien um, empire? Civilization, however you'd say it. Serious. What type of planet is this? Continental, sweet. So there's one continental world here, and Alpha Centauri, continental, of course it is. The one thing we have to do as um, Starfleet is if there are some of these planets might have like a a really uncivilized. Um, civilization like uh, nomads and just like people who haven't yet got very good technology so obviously we have to just watch them we can't take over their land uh, same with wars I'd like to try and build alliances and federations rather than attacking people but you know if they attack me I'm not gonna say no we are peaceful and we are here for Exploration. See what I mean by being a bit slow to start off with. This is actually one of my favourite bits. Like, just to start. Because what we need is... Right, to start off, we need the minerals. We have got... So we need minerals to actually build things. Whereas our energy is just to keep things running. Let's have a look how Earth is doing. Habitable World Survey. We now know without a doubt that thriving biosphere is not something unique to Earth. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalogue the forms of life we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. So we can say we have more important things, or we can say... A commendable initiative. Yeah, let's do that. Situation log updated. So here we have our situation log. Tells us exactly what we need to do. There's our aliens we met last time. And uh, we need to find eight habitable planets. So what we do, let's have a look at Earth. So Earth here we have our governor, Reginald Howard. Plus for happiness. Minus 10% construction, minus 12% block clearance time. So... Here we go, this is Earth. So we got a couple of people working on food. How are we doing for food? So food is surplus, which means increase the rate of our population growth. Here we go, so we've got all this food coming in. I would like to focus on the uh, minerals to start with. But that's what she's doing, and there's no other minerals. That's a bit of an annoyance. I would like to have a bit more minerals. Anyway, let's um We don't need more food just now, so there's no point in building wasting our minerals building planets. So let's just leave Earth as it is just now. Oh, there's more minerals. Fantastic. So shift No Build mining station. So he will build the mine station here first, and then go up here and build that one. As our good scientist, Leonard Scott in the Charleston. So we've met the Beta Aliens. So we got the mining station orbit of 4 Vesta. Sweet. Plus 11, good. It's a good start. It's always good to get uh, minerals quickly. Now who is this? This is the... Ah, so I know because I played this before, these guys are just harmless. There's no point in really researching them. Hello, little squids. Bye bye. 
Love that. So we've got a few um, continental worlds just plopping about. Which is pretty cool to start off with. Um, so as soon as we get our colony ship built up, we have to research it. It'll take 47 months to research. And then after it's researched, it'll take a while. I need I think about 350 uh, minerals in order to build one. And it takes up System a lot of complete. energy to um, upkeep. So it's been fully surveyed. Sweet. And gained a level. level. Leader experience gain. Plus 50%. That's quite cool. Right, where are you? So you, my good man, can now survey. See, now I've scouted all these land uh, worlds with my military. I know now that I can just happily set them away. Survey, 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 survey everything. Have fun. And then I don't have to come back to him too often unless he encounters something. So there you go. Have fun. And I think once I've got my. Oh, there's another. Is that another Cornell world? Sweet. If I can, once I've got my. Um, my. Uh, whatchamacallit it? Colony ship. I'll jump out to one of these two. Probably this one. If it's habitable, because you have to scan them first. Sometimes there, it says continental world. There might be something wrong with it. You can't actually um, colonize. Or what I could do is just find the biggest planet. So that's fifteen. Have the habitability question mark. Eighteen. Sixteen. They're all quite big planets. It's a really good start. Twenty-four. Scrap that. Oh. We've got enemy vessels. The crystalline entities. Oh, and my guy's left. Saying I don't want to attack him just now. I uh, I want to wait. See now, I know not to send my science guy up here because he'll get attacked. And gamma aliens. Oh look, we found another civilization already. But again, I'm I'm not going to research it. What you can do is go in here, here's all your aliens, and it costs your society research to um, research it. Which means that this will, I don't know if it stops or slows down, or, but it definitely takes away from this. Anomaly found. Ooh, an anomaly. Vaguely defined shapes swirl in the currents in Barnard Star the second, Vast Oceans. So I can probably be okay to research that. It's only 10% risk. I could get this guy to um, build build on Uranus. Shall we build on Uranus? We are getting quite low on credits. More aliens. Sweet. I think we will. We'll just build that just now. So it's only 90. We've got a decent amount of um, minerals coming in just now. So we'll build that and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But that's been the first, this is the first video of a new uh, series and a new game that I would love playing by the way, just to let you know. So if you like seeing this, just tell me in the comments below or hit the like button and I uh, will continue doing it. So. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.